The new details tonight after the sinking of a boat which claimed the lives of four Maine fishermen. The Emmy Rose sank off the coast of Massachusetts in 2020. WMTW News 8's Terry Stackhouse is live in Portland. And Terry, investigators want changes to come from this. Yeah, Allison, good evening. That's right. They want personal locator beacons. The National Transportation Safety Board is calling on the U.S. Coast Guard to require that every commercial fishing vessel requires one of these devices be provided to all of their workers. Roughly 1,300 pages of investigative documents were released today, made public along with the findings. The bodies of those four fishermen presumed dead were never located. Robert Blethen, Jeff Matthews, Michael Porper, and Ethan Ward. The NTSB says the Emory Rose likely capsized after water flooded the vessel, getting through hatches that were not watertight. The agency also finding that two hatches used to drain water were closed. Is that the vessel was exposed to following seas and winds, so it put the wind and waves in the direction of this lower portion of the stern. The NTSB also says that they want to widen the scope of what the U.S. Coast Guard is required to inspect with these commercial fish, fishing vessels. We'll talk more about what that would look like coming up at 6 o'clock. But for now, reporting live in Portland, Terry Stackhouse, WMTW News 8.